and I'm doing it for my daughter. That's sexy. Well, you know what Napoleon wrote to his woman? Don't wash. Don't <laughs> wash. No, sorry, it, sorry to yeah, say yeah, no, 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 this no, morning. I, 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 yeah, you had, you had to. You know what's It's weird? on my mind all the time. Was it Napoleon or was it uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt? Uh, not, uh, was it Teddy Roosevelt said don't wash as well. <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. Was it Ben Fra I thought it was Ben Franklin. I hope he did. Of course, Ben Fra Ben Franklin was up to no good. Of course, he's telling him. He's got ladies. a car battery attached to it. <laughs> ben Franklin's always telling his girls not to walk. He's got an AC Delco battery with a sticker Come check on. out the basement. Yeah. I got bodies buried in the basement. Come check it out. Hellfire Club. Hellfire Club. Who, Ben Franklin? Yeah, Ben Franklin's famous for the Hellfire oh, Club really? and for having lots of bodies in his basement. Was he a bad guy? Uh, well, I mean, I'm not even sure he even existed, so it's hard to answer that. <laughs> Jeez. His body looked kind of fine, though. Don't yeah. wash for three days to spice up... A reunion. Spice up our sex. Is this apocryphal? Back. Is this not true? According to skeptics. Oh, I believe skeptics. Any website that's called skeptics, you can go fuck off. Edited edited by Laurel and Epic Broccoli. Go fuck yourself. Edited by Laurel and Hardy. Can you imagine? First of all, I understand that nothing. Can you go back to that, Chris, please, so we can look at it? I understand that nothing in history is real. Yeah. However, if you look down here, Charles, this is skeptics dot stack exchange dot com which you you can imagine the attitude of these people right off the bat just re reimagining i don't think that actually happened that type of attitude which i hate even more than the fake history that we do get right yeah um and this is asked by epic broccoli and he's got 844 whatever on his account you can imagine the type of thing that runs through this guy's mind is he related to the the broccoli guy that wrote all the uh, that produced the james bond movies back in the day I doubt I it. I always remember seeing broccoli. I was who's like, who's that? Who's Edward, this asshole? Isn't that Edward or Frederick Broccoli? Can you type in bro uh, broccoli James Bond movies? I think Epic I might be broccoli. his grandson or something. Albert R. Broccoli. Al wow. Brock. Al Brock. Cubby. Nicknamed Cubby. But just the... the um, Cubibble. The, the fucking people... <clears throat> the people who are like... Uh, you know the Green Brothers? Hank Green and whatever? Yeah. Couldn't you go to YouTube and type in Green Brothers? The, the vlog brothers. They might say uh, Napoleon didn't exist, but when you tell them the Civil War never happened, they usually get kind of upset. Yeah, <laughs> that's the type of guy. The uh, yeah. These oh, fucking yeah. Are they married? Okay, Who, thankfully, one question. of them has cancer now, they're thank they're God. Ask you are they brothers? The words. They're brothers oh, and they're sure. marked for Just like the But these are the types of guys who, you can pause it. You I'll put them in far their side, Far side the human? Yeah, well, they, these, <laughs> yeah. Are the, these are the types of guys who, well, you don't, you don't know. You know, well, actually, 1921, they said that he invented the light bulb, but he didn't. <laughs> that type of shit. That I'll believe, I will, I'll go, I'll fucking, I will, I'll take one in the chest for the right, to preserve the right of every black person to say that Wakanda invented fucking computers before listening to these fucking shits. Question one, ask anything. I don't even care. Whatever they have to say. Well, actually, in 1703, they never painted that painting. Fucking yourselves. Ugh. You tell them that uh, there, there were no gay Romans and Greeks. See how they take that one. They weren't gay, you know that? That was made up. Actually, they weren't gay. Well, I can think of one historical event that they would never question, but I would question every day. But I'm not going to talk about I it. I forget what you're talking about. I think it's the Chicago World's Fair, In right? fact, I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, Chicago World's Fair is the The Chicago best. World's Fair, where they had private jets. Ellen <laughs> yeah. Keller was flying a private jet and landing there. <laughs> Blimps that go across the world, it's like $4 to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was made out of styrofoam, so we burned it all down. <laughs> oh, Really? God damn! It lit Sickening. itself on fire. That's how they found out what napalm was. It was styrofoam and gasoline. <laughs> the World's Fair stuff is really the crazy. Even Dresden back in the day, it's so shocking to mm -hmm. see. But I guess they had it coming. The women and the children in Dresden, I think they were had it coming. I love the yeah. I know the World's Fair stuff is is it's always incredible. Yeah, it's like they sprayed it on the ground. Like they just they like shot that out of a tank. It's like big bouncy castles. Yeah, like. <laughs> It's like limestone erections. They have the huge crystal castle with uh, even like this electric palace too. Like there are such crazy things that would make you sick seeing. Cr like a, a big, green, not greenhouse, but where they used to like park the zeppelins in and that thing burned down. Or so. It was just, it's all just bullshit. You, got, you understand. Yeah. This is just structures that were erected for these world's fairs that defy... They're awe-inspiring structures, and they've sort of magically disappeared. Yep. Okay. And, and you could you could argue, well, I feel it's irrefutable, but they use the word founded when it comes to those big buildings. It means they found them. They were already there. They were already there. Like, we're living, we're, like, completely conquered and occupied for hundreds of years. But, I mean. No, you know what they let live, though? They let the row houses by the factory stay intact. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's destroy the, uh, the Archangel, Archangel Gabriel, the building. 
But let's keep those fucking row houses where the fucking <laughs> where the chain the scum man lived. They never destroyed any of the sanitariums, the mental asylums that looked like giant castles. They didn't destroy any of those because they kept everyone in there that remembered the people that built all the shit at the fairs. At least in my opinion. They stuffed them into the asylums. Can't you see that happening, though? If you, oh, yeah. if you deny certain things, they'll put you in an asylum. It's going to happen again. That'd be cool. Maybe. It's like a shadow of the torturer thing with the... Uh... You remember the, what was the atrium? What did they call that place? Atrium of time with the drop ceilings. It was it was the where the where the people that sought an audience with the uh, autark would go and they'd be interned. House absolute indefinitely. Yeah, yeah. Like, but the, they'd be in there. They'd be eating. You remember they were eating coffee cakes, sweet buns, drinking coffee, and they, there were drop ceilings, and they were just kept in there indefinitely. And occasionally, members of the higher caste would come in to torture them with like toys, mm -hmm. with electric toys and such. That shit was horrifying. Yeah. All, all like the seafarers or the Chinese seafarers from back in the day, they're all there. Yeah, man. Oh, that was nightmare. Good God. Oh, that is such a nightmare. I got to do it again. Yeah. I did Dying Earth again. It was, it's just too fun. Yeah. It's too fun, but I, I, it's time to revisit some more Wolf. Have you ever, uh, have you ever looked into Earth, Earth.net? No. It's like an old school um, text repository communication hub for people who are trying to dig, a, dig apart the uh, Gene Wolfe's literature hmm. called Orth.net. And it's okay. kind of, there's some fascinating oh, I gotta check that like out. fan theories and stuff on there. It's kind of like a, a like a subreddit, but it's not because it's people who are communicating via, you know, BBS or email, like old school methods. Oh. So it's like a higher, higher IQ, higher average IQ. Let, let me ask you this. Did you know that Gene Wolfe invented the Pringles uh, fabrication of the chips and the canister? I think you told me that. Can you before, believe yeah. that? No. <laughs> and, and even his face is Gene Wolfe on the Pringles can. Think of that for a the second. Mustache, the, the mustache. The mustache guy is Gene Wolfe. It's crazy. <laughs> right. What? A, wow. What do you think of that? Oh, oh brother. That's a good sticker. What that's, does that mean? That's like, nuts, Charles. Holy shit. What is this guy, a freak maniac? Wow. <laughs> I love chips. I like chips so much I invented it and I wrote all this stuff that I, well, I kind of picked up from Jack Vance. <laughs> <laughs> was, he, was he inspired by Jack Vance or vice versa? Who came? Oh, no. Jack Vance was writing in like, in like the, oh, I, I'm going to be making things up right now, but I believe he was earlier. Click the thing that says Jack Vance right there, Chris. <clears throat> Influenced by H.P. Lovecraft, Jack Vance, more. Click Jack Vance. What and then go to, the, go to the Wikipedia. Click that Wikipedia link right there. What a god he is. He was, oh, he was born in 1916. Holy fucking yeah. shit. He, he lived in 96. Motherfucker. Thank God he did. He probably, well, he probably spent most of his life on a boat. Yeah, he, he's the guy that said, no, you shouldn't start writing until you're 40. I, wa I wonder if that's, wow. uh, I wonder if that's why he lived so long as he was on a boat his whole fucking life. The water is healing. It must be. Mm. Sea air. That's why they probably push you inland. That's why mm. they call waters uh, the wells, because it makes you well, at least allegedly. They take everything away. The, the worst thing they ever did was take all the bells down. That's the worst thing anyone's ever did in the world, honestly. That's a really weird thing. <laughs> he was writing in the 60s. What, does, did he have any kids? You scroll down to personal life and just see if he had children. <laughs> just this c***. <laughs> 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 he drank his kids. <laughs> Vance family fortune dwindled during the Depression. Forced to leave junior college. He was a bellhop which was a miserable year. He worked in a cannery and on a gold dredge. Doesn't that sound like one of his books? Like Kujil? Yeah. Being a, being a bellhop and then working in a cannery and then <laughs> digging for gold? Yeah, digging for the scales. God damn. In, in Flutic? <laughs> oh my God, man. It's so good. Yeah, and, and Demon Princes is, is crazy. I haven't opened that one yet. It's, there's some stuff in there. There's like, there's like a, well, I don't even want to use the word because it's so queer i guess you could say but i might as well there's like adrenochrome harvesting in those books mm -hmm. like making nightmares to scare people oh, uh, like like capturing people and like experimenting until they like self-reproduce like Ugh. trying to get clones of the, like it's this it was really sick good god and it's procedural it's like uh it's like columbo mm -hmm. it's like a detective thing it's mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun holy fuck Did westworld attempt to grab some of that from their for their plot lines i'm sure I think, yes, yeah, it's, it's all kind of that with science fiction. It's all like, you know, the influence is all trickled down. It's all yeah, like a web. Like that, the, the maze symbol from like, uh, what's that, that huh? cathedral, mm -hmm. like, like the tech the toy uh, box thing. Yeah. Like yeah, I can't yeah. describe it. It's some French thing. And, and it's, uh, whatever that maze thing look is, uh, it just, it looks like the halls of Jer like the walls of Jericho. Like if you look up the walls of Jericho. Let's see if I have it handy. Science fiction is very, it's very uh, religious. Yeah. And it's um, even, even the bleak, 
black mirror type stuff. Oh yeah, wow. Even the fucked up the bleak black mirror type stuff is um like a religion for it's like an uh, atheistic religion. The way that the themes and like everything sort of influences and affects everything else is it's almost religious. um, It's like canon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like guidelines that everybody sort of succumb, uh, admits to, and and pr- like space. What are the yeah. walls of Jericho? I don't know. <laughs> it's the same as the labyrinth what? in Crete with the mm-hmm. Minotaur, also allegedly. Hmm. But I can't explain this. But this symbol is like yeah, it must Quebec conduct City. energy or something. Like it does something. It's on the floor of one one cathedral, and and on a lot of some computer circuits, it has his name on there. Whose name? It's called the. Um... It's called the John Podesta spiral. It's not chartreuse. It's something like that. <laughs> Podesta. We need to get Diet Cokes oh, again, Chris. Whatever. Can you, can you make a... Uh, whatever that... Char- Chartre or whatever... Chart. Whatever. Chart. Chart. Yeah. C-H-A-R-T-R-E-S. Mm-hmm. And it's it's hard to believe. We need to travel. Yes. We 